Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dirty Red Gaming, where we take gaming and fashion, we mash it together like it's some Play-Doh. I'm Macho, a.k.a. Dirty Red, and this is my channel. So today, I got a quick sneaker review for y'all. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Kobe 10 Elite in the Team Colorway, very prestige shoe. I think everyone should own a Kobe sneaker at some point in their life and just sit on it. I've had mine since, like, 2015, 2016. So let's go ahead and get into the sneaker. So we got our sneaker right here. What sneaker? Sneakers. And with the Kobe sneaker, you got the ink Persian violet with the vault and reflective silver. Um, I mean, I, I don't know, man. This this is. I try to get y'all a good view of it. Take a look at the inside. That's the uh, the vault, the bottom. I've only worn them a few times, uh, but they've been sitting for so long, and that ink look like it done. Like got it. The, the purple ink look like it got into the, the rubber, but yeah. So let me put put the shoe down and uh, let's take a look at it, man. So, boom, you got the Kobe Elite, man. This is the high top. Oh man, I, I love this shoe. I really love it. The uh, the nine and the ten, the Elite um, shoe came out in 2014. I want to say. Uh, April 2014, April 14, 2014. Um, at this point, a lot of packages with other NBA players. I think Durant, um, Durant and LeBron was receiving their um, packages where they were doing like elites and stuff like that. And Durant was having the high shoes, and, and LeBron was going through his thing with Nike. But this came out, man, and I just fell in love with it. I grabbed. I think I know the full retail for it was 225, and I got this in the nine and a half because I just wasn't sure. This is a Hooper shoe. And that's my reason why I really don't like Kobe sneakers because it's really just a basketball shoe. But man, just taking a look at it, man, you got the fly, fly knit, uh, upper, very breathable. You can see right through it. I can see the camera. Um, then you got the fly wire technology. You can just see the fly wire just all over this sneaker, man. This is a very light sneaker. You got your zoom air bubble at the bottom and it just blends in. This is a very comfortable shoe. Um, I like to wear this shoe with uh, like jogging pants. This is a good, uh, the reason why I chose to do it now, which is odd, because well, for one, basketball season just started, but this is a good like fall sneaker to just throw on. Not all Kobe sneakers are uh, made for like urban, you know, unless you're looking into like the, uh, the Adidas Kobe's, but this one right here, because it's a high top, I like to throw some jeans on with this in the uh, fall. Um, some jogging pants, man. You got that uh, reflective, swoosh here you got the reflective swoosh there and then the whole shoe is just pretty much reflective you got this violet um purple all around it and then inside the shoe you got your bolt with your uh mamba sign at the tongue you got your mamba sign right there with like the little snake kind of snake skin and then you got your kobe autograph on the inside of the sneaker and the one thing I, I do like about kobe shoes is that signature those dots right there, those those little slashes. All of his sneakers got them. They always on the left shoe. And this is just a very comfortable shoe, man. You can feel everything. I can see why people love hooping in them, but this is not no shoe. Well, not, the low top Kobe's is not a shoe that you would just wear. Like, it's not fashionable, but this right here is probably the most fashionable. But they got so many colors, but I, this purple, um, I love it. And right now, man, this shoe, when Kobe passed, the first thing I thought about was his shoes. And I, and I say this about LeBron's the same way. Um, when you get into athletes that are like, you know, big as Kobe and LeBron, and then their sneakers start to resell. I think when Kobe passed, these shoes were reselling at $2,000. Like literally the next day. When I seen, uh, when I went on the app and I just Googled it. Googled um, the Kobe 10 Elite and two thousand dollars easy so that's why i say you know go ahead grab you some lebron's you know the jordans are cool but grab you some shoes from athletes that are just superior 
Um, not that not that Jordan ain't, but it's so many Jordans out there, man. Just go ahead and grab your pair of Kobe's right now. I think these shoes are retailing for like almost six hundred dollars. So I just sit on these. I just got these on ice. I barely wear them. They're barely worn. It's very no tread. Um, even looking at the bottom, you got your uh, your ten, your X at the bottom. You got your Mamba logo, and I think right here is like some carpet because <laughs> they've been sitting. I don't have the shoebox. The shoebox got wet, and I had to throw the shoebox away. So I really hate that. But man, this is a dope, dope sneaker. This is a great basketball shoe, man. This the grippy is very grippy at the bottom. It just grabs to the floor when you put it on, but you got the zoom bubble in the back. You can feel that cushion when you're walking. I mean, it's just a dope sneaker. High tops, love them. So we finna go ahead and get into the own feet so I can let y'all go. I'm out. Okay, so conclusion. Um, it's not really that much of a conclusion for this. Um, what I rate this shoe, my cop or not, and what I rate it zero to ten, I give this shoe a ten out of ten. This is this is for me, the nine and the ten, the Kobe nine elite and the Kobe ten elite are probably the most, the probably the hardest basketball shoe. I mean, they they really went in on this shoe with the colors, man. You got the, I don't know, it's just so crazy. Go Google them. Google the other colorways of this shoe. On the Kobe 10 Elite and just check them out. They got some crazy colorways. Um, and then on the Kobe 9 Elite 2, the high top, man. I mean, those are to me, those are the best. Um, I know people are gonna argue that the Grinches are, but those are for hoopers. I'm talking about a shoe that you could just throw on your feet and just go, you know, a basketball shoe. This is really a legitimate basketball shoe, but man, when you see them colorways, the different colorways that they got. You would be like, dang, I, I really want a pair, but they're so expensive right now. You talk to seven hundred dollars. You still got some Kobe tens and nine at least that are a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, just because he's not here. They're not re-releasing them and, and things like that. But yeah, I give this shoe a ten out of ten. If you could get your hands on them, any pair of Kobe's from you know whatever number you want to pick, any pair of Kobe's, definitely a hard cop. Um, I'm thinking about spending. <laughs> thinking about spending like the 600 bucks just to get the uh i think that they were the yellow and black you got a yellow uh this whole shoe is yellow with a black swoosh and it's like black at the bottom but i'm thinking about spending like i think it's like seven six fifty or something like that i'm thinking about getting it though um but just to have i just want them just to have them so definitely a 10 out of 10 cop or not cop these you can get your pair of Kobe's at, at regular retail. These were 225 when they came out. In correction, they came out April 17th. The uh, the initial release of this shoe was like early April. Then they released, you know, a whole like little package. But yeah, so thank y'all for tuning into my channel. Go grab you some Kobe's, and I'm out.